So we got um, algebra one, B2, evaluate numerical expressions involving integers. First thing first, uh, Tyler, Tyler, question for you. Who do we need to excuse? What famous aunt do we need to excuse? What, what, wait, what? What famous <laughs> aunt do we need to excuse? What famous aunt do we need to excuse? Yeah. Think about um, that. Does anybody know? Julie, who do we need to excuse? Are you talking about like Pendas or something like that? That's it. Pendas. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Oh my God. All right. So now, Aunt Sally, she's a very important person. She's uh, huge in the math world. She's done a lot of great things. But unfortunately, there's one problem with Aunt Sally. And that is this. A lot of kids get hooked up on excusing her, but we need to remember that it's my and dear and Aunt and Sally. The multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction are kind of like together, okay? In that we work from left to right, okay? So P, what does P stand for, Ellie? Ellie? Isn't it parentheses? Yeah. Parentheses. That's these things. What about E, Chucky? Uh, I don't know. Yes, you do. Don't give me that answer. X. Exponent. Yeah. Exponents. That's these little guys, like the little two. Now, I already told you, M and D stand for multiplication. Wow, multiplication. So that's your times and like your little dot. D stands for division. That's your divide sign and your slash. A stands for add. That's this guy. And S stands for subtraction. That's this guy. So when we're working through these problems, we need to remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But we have to pay special attention to multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. When there's both of those in a problem, we have to work from left to right. So if division comes first, even though in the pro or PEMDAS, M comes first, we need to do that division first. So let's look at this guy. Five minus five times one. Now I'm gonna rewrite this right here. Now, the first thing I need to do is the multiplication. So I have five minus, notice I didn't do anything with that. But these guys, I have to multiply. So five times one is five. And now I do my subtraction because that's the only thing left. And my answer is zero. So Nate, what's the first thing we need to do in this problem? What'd you say, Nate? Uh, 
first thing we're going to do is add the negative one to the po the negative five. Now, did you say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally? What? PEMDAS, right? Oh, oh no. no, that's my bad. We got to multiply first. That's right. It is your bad. But you wonder what? You're still number one in my book. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we have, let's do negative one plus negative five times negative one. I'm just rewriting the problem. And Nate said, we need to do this first. Now, I'm not a big fan of the X for a multiplication thing, but I just want to keep it consistent with the problems. The reason for that is when I write it out, it kind of looks like the variable. So you have to be careful of that. Okay. So here we have negative one plus. Now, Nate, do you happen to know what negative five times negative one is? I do happen to know what that is. What is it? Is it positive five? It is. And now we do what you said at the beginning. We need to do negative one plus five. And that is four. All right, Mrs. Simonian. What? What do I do first here in this problem? I got a bunch of fours and I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm going to divide, Harmon. Very good. So, Mrs. Simone, do you know what four divided by four is? It is one. One. And four minus one, I'm not going to insult you. That's a big old three. Thank you, Mrs. Simonian. Mm-hmm. All right. Now these get pretty easy, okay, for the first set. Notice I've done three problems. They're all roughly uh, three numbers in it. But eventually, right around 40, it's going to change to four numbers. Now I have three operations to do. So, Julie, are you still wearing those sunglasses? Of course. No, that's awesome. Now, Julie, what operation am I doing first? I have multiplication, subtraction, and addition. Which one would I do first? Multiplication. And what is 5 times 10, Julie? 50. 50. So I have 50 minus 10 plus 9. All right. Now, Julie, who should I pick on? You got to pick on Ellie. Ellie. That is not fair. Uh, it is fair. No. Right. So, Ellie, what um, operation do I do next? Do I do this um, or the addition? And my advice to you is be very, very careful. It's a subtraction first. Very good. Well, I do that first because it occurs first when working from left to right. So, Ellie, uh, what is 50 minus 10? 40. 40. So, I have 40 plus 9. Now, Ellie, who should I pick on? Um, I don't know. You can pick can any. Can pick on Julie again? Yes, we can. Julie, yeah. what is 40 plus 9? You know what? I hate you, Ellie. Um, 49. 49. Now, Ellie and Julie, hate's a very strong word, okay? Uh -huh. So we like can go with strongly dislike. Yep. I'll go with that one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, evaluate the expression. Let's get Mike involved here. Mike? Mike, how are you doing today? I'm Mike, fine, but doing I fine. Am. Are you a little sad because you're going up against uh, the Jaguars running back last night? Mm -mm. He put up some I numbers. On fantasy. What? I traded for someone on fantasy. Who'd you trade for? 
Uh, I have no clue. I thought he was a bum and he got 30 points. Oh, yeah, that was the dude I'm talking about. He's the running back, right? The yeah. running back for uh, the Jags. He had like, he went like, I don't know, like five for 40 and then like six for 84 yards and he had two touchdowns. Yeah, he's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, 30.9 points. Yeah, yeah, we talking about the same, same, same ball. He's good. And he's like, he probably wasn't oh, worth all that much, but now he is. Now, Mike, I know a lot about fantasy football, but I know even more about math. But I need your help here. What do I do first? I got a bunch of minus signs. I got a plus sign. And I got this, like, multiplication thingy. What do I do? Multiplication. Yeah, I do that multiplication, John. Now, what is negative 9 times 9? 81. Or is it negative nine? Well, is it positive or negative 81? You got the 81, right? No, it's, it's negative. Right? It's negative. Very good. So I have three minus negative eight plus negative 81. Now, if my memory serves me correct, two negatives make a positive, right, John? Yes. So I can rewrite the three minus negative eight to three plus eight. The three plus eight is 11 plus negative 81. But now John, what is 11 plus negative 81? Wouldn't that just be negative 70? Yeah, because that negative sign kind of like overtakes that positive sign. Yeah. I mean, just like 11 minus 81 which is negative seven. Nice job, John. Thanks. All right. So again, these are going to change. And now look, now I got this parenthesis stuff happening here. All right. Races here. Ooh, excitement. Joe. Joe, I got this big, long thing. What's the first thing I need to do in this problem? Is that divide by or plus in the middle? I heard a divided by thing. Is that what you said? Six divided by negative two, and then. Okay, so what is six divided by negative two? Negative three. Negative three. So allow me to do this one step at a time. All right. And uh, John, two negatives make a what? Um, a positive. Positive. So now I have four times something. And Annie, which is negative three plus eight? Five. Five. So I have four times five, which is what, Louis? Louis, Louis. Louis. Hello? Louis, what's four times five? 20. Thank you. All right, the final level 
of this. Notice it switches like four times. Now I have exponents. Now, what does an exponent mean? Um, Grace, uh, do you know what an exponent means? Katie, do you know what an exponent means? Um, no. No? All right. Well, an exponent means I'm going to multiply that number by itself. So like negative 7 squared is going to be negative 7 times negative 7, which is um, Cody, what's negative 7 times negative 7? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. So I have negative seven divided by seven minus forty-nine. Hmm. Louis. Louis. Hi. Hi. Hi, Louis. I'm glad you're excited to be back. Now, Louis, hey, what do I do next? Huh? What do I do next? <laughs> I can't hear you over there. I'm deaf. What do I do next, Louie? Uh, uh, you just you just type the answer in. I don't know. No, not yet. Look at the board. What's written in blue? Oh, uh, you div you divide. Shut up, Joe. I hear you. Um, the negative forty nine. I don't know. No, you do, Louie. So think of. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sal. So does division come before subtraction? Yes. So what is negative seven? Oh, you just divide seven from 49, correct? No, what is negative seven divided by seven? Negative seven divided by seven is negative one. Now, Louis, what is negative one minus 49? Negative 50. Perfect. Now, now that is how to do B2. So here's what I want you guys to do today. 